Hello, everybody, and this is Dr. Carmen Bryant, Overcoming Narcissist Abuse. I wanted to come on. I know some of you guys have already transitioned over to 2020. Some of you are waiting to transition over to 2020, and some of you are like me, waiting to transition over to 2020. But I just wanted to come on really quick for the end of the year 2019. Those of you that are still waiting, I want to tell you, I want to express my greatest gratitude uh, and, exp well, express my greatest gratitude and thankfulness to each and every one of you for allowing me to come into your homes, to come into your lives, to have talked to you uh, beginning in 2018. Some of you have hung with me since 2018. We've endured together in 2019. We are crossing into 2020. And I want to tell you guys that this is going to be our greatest year. And as my mentor has already stated, our motto is that we are transitioning into 2020. This is not only going to be your greatest year, but this is going to be your year of recovery, your year of recovery and your year to discover your greatest authentic self. You're going to discover yourself. You know, if you've been hanging in there with these videos, you've been hanging in there with her videos, you're going to discover your greatest self. You're going to find out how much endurance you have. You're going to find out just how powerful, how beautiful, and how strong many of you guys are. You know, the one thing that I want you to remember as you transition over is that you are not what people say you are. You are not what the narcissist said that you were. You are not, you know, the tum, the tum, the sum total of, of, of your experiences and the negative things that whether it's family, mother, father, uh, or a significant other that you've been with, you are not what they told you that you were. You are a great individual. You are a loving individual. And a lot of you are just traumatized. But we're going into 2020. And I just wanted to come on and tell you guys, thank you so much for being a part of this tribe. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of your lives, you know, to come in to speak to you guys, for you guys to be patient as I come on and do my videos and I travel, you know, thank you for allowing me to be a part of your family and for you to have developed a family and a tribe on this YouTube channel. This is 2019. We have about, let's see, one, two, I think about, it's it's 8.45 right now. So we have, well, by the time you get the video, it's probably already, you know, into the next year. But I just wanted to come on. I really wanted to just express my gratitude. I wanted to say thank you. I wanted to send my love out to each and every one of you guys. You guys are strong. You're beautiful. A lot of you have sent me emails. A lot of you are growing. A lot of you are healing. And a lot of you are new to the channel. So a lot of your pain and grief is new, you know. But if you stay with me, if you go through the videos, you know, to continue to strengthen yourself, to continue to ask questions, you know, as I make videos. I haven't really made new videos, in-depth videos. I've been kind of, you know, kind of lighthearted, you know, in doing the videos because it's been the holidays. But we're going to get right back into the grind in 2020, uh, you know, and to continue this recovery. Some of you guys, you know, over all these followers that we have on this YouTube channel, I'm expecting... I'm hoping, and for me, you know, not everybody doesn't have the same belief, but I'm praying that as you guys are recovering, you guys will become pillars in the community where you begin to educate. I hope that there are going to be lawyers that are coming from this YouTube channel, judges, you know, that develop, uh, uh, not develop, but you know, that uh, that uh, get educated, not not even educated. What I'm saying, let me think. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is that I hope that on this YouTube channel. Many of you that are watching, I hope that those of you studying law will become the greatest family lawyers and lawyers, you know, turn into great judges that have this, this knowledge that will sit in seat, will become congressmen, will become mayors, will become political uh, office holders, will become, you know, people within the community that can make a change, that, that recognize this type of behavior, that can help others that are going through this. I'm believing, you know, some of you guys that are even in the entertainment uh, industry that can bring awareness, make films, you know, make documentaries, make, I mean, do things to bring awareness to this subject matter, to this subject matter of narcissist abuse. And I have some uh, thoughts and plans for 2020, um, you know, to bring more awareness and be prepared because my travel schedule is about to take off. We have one event going on, uh, well, I'm a part of, not me, but 
I'm a part of the event that's going on in February. I posted that for you guys. Um, and there's also another event where I should be traveling to North Carolina in April time frame. I may also be in the Dallas Fort Worth area in April time frame. And so be prepared. You know, I'm ready to meet you guys. You know, I know some of you guys are ready to meet me. You know, you guys start developing your conferences and you want a main speaker, you know, or you want, uh, not even the main speaker, if you want me to come and speak, to be a part of your speaking engagement to, you know, let me know, email me and let me know. I'm ready. Let's do this. You know, let's bring awareness. Let's bring 2020 in right. Thank you guys so much for being here. Once again, I wanted to express my gratitude. I just want to chit chat for a minute because I'm on my way out the door. Can you tell I got my jacket on? I got my, 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 uh, faux fur. I got my faux fur on. And so, but I'm ready. I'm looking forward for 2020. I'm excited about what 2020 is getting ready to bring for us, especially for this tribe. I'm waiting to hear success stories. I'm waiting to hear, you know, the experiences that you have. Remember, your experiences, you know, even though negative, these experiences, they can help build you. They can help build communities. They can help educate people. You know, who's the best people to listen to but those that have been through something as tragic as narcissist abuse. Thank you guys so much for being with me. I'll be back next year. You guys hang in there and you guys go be great.